Hi, thanks for clicking on GT Frequently Asked Questions. The next question is, why are you wasting so much time on teaching fill in the blank? It could be art or architecture or poetry or whatever it is. Uh, so I get that question quite frequently and, and I'll use last year's um, subject as an example. We were learning 20 different art styles, right? Well, my answer to the question about why we were learning those art styles is, is twofold. There's really two, two, two or three parts to it. The first thing is that simply, it's the nature of this class. GT is meant to be uh, an exposure to all kinds of things out there. Art, architecture, poetry, all that kind of stuff is going to come up. I teach it like a humanities type class where you're, you're exposed um, to all those different sorts of subjects throughout world history. So that's one part of it, it's just the nature of the class. The other part of it is focusing on that exposure idea. I take it very seriously as a goal of this class to create culturally literate students. That means I, I want my kids to know a little about a lot. I want them to be able to walk into a museum and understand why that painter painted that way, that particular way, what he was responding to, what was going on in society that made him uh, sculpt like that or paint like that. Why did they write that poem like that? I want them to understand that sort of things. Um, and so that's part of being culturally literate. It makes them a much richer person. Um, and perhaps focusing on that term richer, it also makes them a much more valuable employee. Right? In our work world today, CEOs, uh, companies will tell you that the number one characteristic that they're looking for in their employees is flexibility. That means they have to be able to do all kinds of things. You're not just going to be putting a bolt on every 15 seconds. That's not it anymore. You're not just going to be writing motions for summary judgment at the law firm. You've got to do all kinds of stuff. You may write a motion, but then you may do some marketing and you may be doing uh, a presentation and you be do you'll be doing some research and on and on and on. So the, the employees are expected to be very multifaceted and be very flexible. Well, you have to have a core set of knowledge in order to be flexible. So part of this class is exposure to all kinds of things to help them gain that core of knowledge that will then make them more flexible and a 21st century employee um, for our workforce. Uh, the second part of the answer is going to be, in addition to that flexibility and all that, I also want to teach uh, my kids a certain amount of skills that I think are valuable throughout their educational career and even into to the real world, right? So for instance, again, using art, learning 20 art styles, okay, that's going to require research, that's going to require organization, it's going to require note-taking and planning uh, just to get all of that information. So it could be art, it could be pudding, it could be trees, it doesn't matter what it is, right? We're learning how to use those skills that become valuable later on in biology class or in law school or whatever. Beyond that, once you've got that, those facts down through those methods we just talked about, well then the other skills we're going to learn are taking that information and studying it. So we'll practice study skills revolving around art styles or and we'll take test taking skills or learn test taking skills revolving around art styles or trees or whatever it is. The kids will learn how to compare and contrast, to analyze, why did he paint that way? What's the difference between these two styles? So on and on and on there's just a multitude of very specific, very clear uh, learning objectives that I have, uh, very specific um, skills that I have that I'm trying to teach the kids and I just choose different vehicles in order to pre present those skills and in order to practice those skills. So it could be art or it could be trees or whatever. Uh, either way, the kids are gaining knowledge, valuable knowledge that makes them a more culturally literate person and they're learning and practicing incredibly important skills that are valuable to their learning, uh, their education and the wider work world. So bottom line, we're not wasting time just learning 20 art styles. There's a real clear reason why we're doing it and there, it's a very complex but valuable reason. Thanks. Hope that helped.